to the flora and fauna of the world is a publication which accompanies the exhibition of the same name at the Singapore Biennale 2013. It is a work by Robert, who is an artist, and the publication consists of 55 plates and it comes with supporting documents. Well, Robert's work in this case specifically talks about how humans use science and technology to intervene with nature. It was quite an open brief which was given to us by Robert. So basically, I had to narrow down our scope and define some perimeters for the project. For this project, actually, there was very little teamwork. I think more of the collaborative process was really between me and Robert, the artist. We had a lot of fruitful conversations in his studio. We were surrounded by a lot of fake animals and plants and strange specimens. And so that really spurred a lot of ideas between the two of us. As a graphic designer, what I would normally do is to create a visual representation of a client's work. But in this case, because of the nature of the project, and also Robert being an artist, we want to present his work in a pure form so that his voice is not drowned by ours. But at the same time, how do we justify our existence as a creative person if we were not to intervene in some way? So there needs to always be a fine balance with such a project. Well, it's definitely significant to be recognised nationally. Definitely a great encouragement, not just for myself, but for anyone who will win this award. My advice to young designers would be to look beyond design and not let design be a limitation to how you see things. This is a guide to the flora and fauna of the world, design of the year.